quiet, please? Thank you. I know in the past you've had to fight for some of your roles. Was TAP yours from the very beginning? Uh, well, yes, in that uh, Nick Castle, the director and, and screenwriter, uh, he and I got together and uh, really developed the story. And uh, so um, while at the beginning we didn't know exactly what the story was going to be, I, I, I certainly felt I had a part in it. Do you consider this sort of an autobiographical film? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, there are a lot of things in the film that I, uh, and feelings and, and things that happen that, that um, I've carried around with me for a while. But uh, I think a lot of tap dancers have experienced the same things that I did. And so it's, it's somewhat universal in terms of reaching uh, people who have experienced that tap life and what it is to love an art that falls by the wayside. Um, but uh, we really wanted to m tell a story and an entertaining story, and and uh, and not be not be too um, uh, you know like a documentary type thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was one of the reasons why we wanted to uh, um, incorporate uh, tap dancing from an older style and a more contemporary style. Are you hoping that this might spark a revival among the younger generation for tap dancing? Uh, well, I, I hope that I hope that um, that there'll be more movies that utilize tap dancing. I definitely do. I mean, I I, I think that there is a very strong resurgence happening now. Uh, young people studying tap. I mean, I've I've traveled around the country and gone to different tap schools, and uh, there's a lot of great young talent out there, and, and we have some in our film, uh, most notably Savion Glover. But the way that you brought it in with rock and roll, you know, it's just a whole twist. Yeah. Well, you know, back in the late 70s, when I wasn't really tap dancing a whole lot, uh, I would hear contemporary music and, you know, maybe my own apartment, and I would tap dance to it, and I would think, boy, you know, it's just, it, it can work, you know, it can work with this kind of music. Uh, I wasn't the only tap dancer doing that because there were a lot of other people experimenting, but it's just so hard to make a living at a tap, mm -hmm. as a tap dancer. And in those days, whenever there was tap being presented, uh, they wanted to present it in a retrospective way with the kind of music that people are used to seeing tap dancing uh, perform to. Right. So it was, um, uh, you know, for me, it was an opportunity to really start to, to evolve as a dancer. Uh, and, and just as music has evolved, I think tap dancing has to evolve with it because there's such a communion there. You mentioned the 70s. Now, I know there was a point in your life when you said you felt trapped by the life that your parents had created for you, uh -huh. and you turned your back on, on the success you already had and moved to California. Wow. I did. I did. I, I, in, in 1973, I moved to California, and I became a hippie, and... and uh, played guitar in a jazz rock band for five dollars a night and uh, it was a great time. It was just great. Did you think you'd get back into show business? Um, not really. I mean, I, I, at that point I wanted to, I, I, I knew what I didn't want to do uh, anymore. I didn't want to work nightclubs and uh, that kind of thing, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, I, was, I was splitting up with my first wife and uh, discovering the joys of, of single parenthood, really learning how to be a father. I met the woman that I'm married to now. Uh, it was a very growthful period for me. You know, it's, some of it was painful and, and uh, a little bit frightening, but um, uh, it was necessary. How do you feel about opportunities for black performers in Hollywood? Do you think that there are enough parts that are just written as good parts that blacks can play, or are they still writing black parts? Uh, well, I, I certainly don't think there are enough good scripts uh, for black actors. Um, but I'm encouraged by the fact that uh, uh, casting people and, and people in different studios are open to a more dynamic concept in casting. Uh, um, casting a black actor in a role that was written for a white actor but could be interchangeable. Um, I've played a lot of those kinds of roles and, uh, and uh, I see more 
actors pushing for that kind of thing. Uh, there are more uh, black directors coming to the fore. Um, I'm, I'm very encouraged. I mean, I still feel as an artist, it's incumbent upon me to make things happen for myself and develop things. But um, uh, when I look around, I think things are getting better. When you look at your career right now, you don't have to fight for roles anymore, do you? Are, oh, yeah. Sure. Do you really? Oh, sure. I mean, if there's, if there's a part that I want that uh, was written for a white actor, I feel like I have to go in there and really campaign and, and you know, institute like a reign of terror. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm aggressive up to the point of obnoxiousness uh, if I want the part. And I can understand where a writer and a film studio that's owned the screenplay for a few years, it's a turnaround for them to think in terms of the character now being a, a black man as opposed to a white man. So sometimes it takes uh, pressure to convince them that uh, I'm the right guy for the part. One thing that I think makes you so wonderful on screen is that you're extremely natural. I mean, you never sound like you're delivering dialogue. Is that because you are a natural or are the characters in some way extensions of Gregory Hines? Well, uh, you know, I feel like I've, I appreciate that. Thank you. And, and I feel like I'm, I'm improving as an actor. I've been very fortunate in the directors that I've worked with and uh, their openness to, to changing different uh, words that were uncomfortable for me to, to something that, that, that rolled out a bit easier. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've tried to work hard at it. You really seem to do a great job at it. Do you consider yourself a success as to where you want to be right now? I feel very happy about it. You know, I, I, uh, this movie is something that uh, I, I wanted to do for a long time. And, um, you know, uh, at this point, you know, my, my, my career, I feel very happy about that. And uh, my children are healthy and my wife is sexy. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.